Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video. It's beautiful challenge, beautiful day. We're working on the equip item thing. I realized one thing is that we have to go into character and we have to make sure we save the old item because we might not want to like delete that old item, right? So this weapon, before this happens, we're going to say this inventory dot add item. Um, add item this weapon a copy of that obviously it's gonna be alright and then this weapon is gonna become W and then this inventory dot remove item at index I think we're gonna have to do that because we're gonna put it in we're gonna put the old weapon in. We're gonna, it's gonna be at the back. So the index is gonna be the same. We're gonna remove that weapon. Now in inventory, I have to see how I do remove item. Do I do it quickly? I don't have a remove item. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to implement this. So if this index, uh, no, if index is less than zero or index is greater or equal to this number of items uh, throw out of bounds remove item Tory. just throw that else we're good to go so um, it's a pointer pointer so what we need to do is we need to say this item array at position index we need to delete that all right and now we have to do this ordered right we can't do this in a what do you call it in a un unordered fashion so um delete this item array but we could have a lot of items so i'm guessing if we don't want to order everything we could just place the last item onto the first one I've done a lot of these different ones I do functions usually with both ordered and the quick version but this one is just gonna be the quick version in that case so I delete that I say this item array at position index is now pointing to this item array this number of items minus one so it's pointing to not the last item the last valid item then we're going to say this item array this number of items delete because that is now pointing to it we want to delete the number of item the one before number of items and we want to decrease the number of items at the same time and then this number of items item array at position this number of items equals null pointer so you guys know what the hell's going on here you don't let me show you really really quickly say you have in case you know what's happening don't watch this but let me just show these guys the ones who are a little confused what the hell's happening say you have who cares about my boxes okay they're all even let's say you have an item here item here item here item here item here the last is always nothing right I mean the last this is number of number of items items, items. and that is what is it zero one two three four five so one two three four five six 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 right uh, wait number of items zero one two three four five one two three four five so there are four five items in here okay there are five items, zero, one, two, three, four. And four is the, I mean, the index. So this is at four, this is at three, this is at two, this is at one, this is at zero. And number of items is not six, it is, number of items is five. Equals five, right? And this would be the fifth index. And the fifth index is always empty because number of items is always one more than the last index because we started zero. But there are five items. See? See that? So 
no biggie. We have a we have a non-valid thing in here. What I do to quickly erase an item, say we want to remove bleh, can't even speak. Remove number one, right? We want to remove that. We're gonna remove it, we're gonna delete it. What this pointer is pointing to, we're gonna point it, see what's happening, look at the code what's happening. So that was stage one. We deleted uh, the item at the position we want to delete. We set that pointer to you know there are pointers here, right? I mean there are, there are pointers here pointing to stuff. Let's say we're pointing to stuff, right? Like this. They're all pointing to something. This is another array of pointers that's pointing to stuff. Now we want to delete this one. So we delete what this pointer is pointing to. And instead of having this little arrow here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point this pointer now. I deleted that. Now this pointer doesn't have anything. There is nothing in this position in memory. These are indexes, but remember, in memory, these are all everywhere, like all random places. Okay, these are the ones that are that's ordered. The the pointers, the things they're pointing to are wherever you know. Are th these indexes are actually meant for the pointers. Remember that these indexes are for the pointers. So the the pointer at index one. Let me do that so I don't confuse you. Okay, that's the end. this is the heap. This is just random stuff where the pointers are pointing to. Okay, and let me just take this down as well. This is these are in the actual array. And at, at position five, there is no pointer. That's basically what's happening. But still, this pointer at the first index, which one we deleted, we're gonna point it to. What does it say? It's saying we're pointing it to number of items number minus one. So number of items is five minus one this one so we're pointing it to this pointer and this pointer is pointing to its own value the last one okay there's an address here so what happens um, this pointer is pointing to the same thing this is pointing to alright so what does that mean this is now woo, boom, pointing right there the same thing basically and what do we do here we delete at minus minus this number of items so at the same time as we make number of items four, we first make it into four. Okay, number of items is now four. So we're here. This is the last element. We need to make it empty because one, two, three, four. There are four elements, but we need to make it empty. This pointer has to go because there are only four pointers pointing something. But still, this pointer has to go whatever it's pointing to. So we delete at number of items. Remember, now number of items is here. Before it was here. Now number of items is here. We delete it and set it to null pointer. So we delete. We don't delete the actual. We we don't delete. No, we're not supposed to do this. We're not supposed to do this. See? See, this is why I draw stuff. We're not supposed to delete that item. We're supposed to delete. What the, We're not supposed to point to that anymore with the last Thing and we're supposed to decrease the number of items so what's happening sorry about that guys is that we don't delete this item obviously we're pointing to it we're just gonna remove this and make it into a null pointer this pointer is now a null pointer it's not pointing to anything anymore all right so now we have kind of quickly just made sure that this is now pointing to the last element okay and you can you might as well see it as this element is at some random position and remember like the memory is 123, 400, like whatever, some re weird array places in the memory. So it doesn't really matter how these are ordered, but remember that these are always ordered, the actual pointers. So that's the way it works. Sorry for that being a little too long and weird, but I need to show you guys in case you don't remember how that works. Uh, but I showed you, and I showed myself that I was doing something wrong. So that's good. So this is good. We're going to remove the item in character we remove the item at that index after we add a weapon we set the weapon to W and we remove that index item but a problem can be that we're gonna remove the item when we add it but it's always gonna add at the end so it shouldn't be a problem it should not be a problem yeah this should, this should not be a problem W is already pointing to that, so we're good. Now let's do the same thing in for all of these. So armor, 
Ugh, this is gonna be a pain. Head item, this armor head. Then remove item index. Let me just do that first. Like that. And let me paste all of these in. Just like this. Armor chest. Armor arms. Armor legs. Good. And now we have a valid kind of thingy. A, A, A. Okay, good. Head, chest, arms, legs. Everything looks okay. I'm pretty sure it's alright. In game. Now as we are in the character menu. We want to equip the item. So I want to give the player a choice. Uh, let me just copy paste all of this. So I want to give the player a choice. This is going to be a big long thingy. But. Uh. Item index, so you get the choice. You get the faulty input. You're gonna say again. Item index, and you're gonna get the choice, and you're gonna go ahead and do that until you get a nice, well, sin fail or this choice is less is less than. Zero or this choice is greater or equal than this character. Get inventory size. Wait, so I'm going to have to make a little function here character. Let's say accessors right here. Okay. Inline const int get inventory size. And then we'll just return the size of the inventory. This return this inventory dot size. Because we'll need that. Uh, and then Yeah, we'll need that. There we go. So is it while it's less than zero, it's bigger than this characters Let's get inventory size okay while it's doing that we're gonna keep doing this and the same thing here faulty input this choice less than zero or this choice is greater than two all right two zero one two perfect so let's see if this is gonna work equip item this choice Good Lord Hammers, this is gonna be so filled with errors, but we'll see. We're we're ending the video soon anyway. So let's say character sheet. Let me just try back. That worked. Character sheet. Oh good lord have mercy. I'm sorry about that. Uh, print inventory. We have stuff. Uh, equip item. Let's say I want to equip butter knife. And let's print stuff out. And I have butter knife on my thing. And then I want to equip item. Oh, we put empty in there. Oh, that's kind of interesting. But oh yeah, we got to fix that. Let me say I want to equip item assassin's bed sheets. That's legs. So let's see if it does that automatically. Oh, whoops. Wait, back. Uh, no, whoops. Escape. Five. So my legs are now assassin's bed sheets. <laughs> Hell yeah, look, that worked, guys. That worked, guys and girls. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. And then print inventory, we have two empty items. But uh, but that's okay. That's okay. One print inventory. Butter knife, level 2, damage 12. Let me see if it... Okay, they're different. So what if I want to equip the better butter knife? Two, let me say two. And then print inventory. 
Okay, so now level 2, rarity 3 is there at that position. And let me say back. And then 5. Uh, yeah, butter knife level 3 is right there. So print inventory. Oh, yeah, it shows right here. What am I doing? It shows right here. Equip item. Let's equip the fifth one on the head. And now it says on my head that I have some bed sheets on there. So that's sweet. That's sweet. Okay, so that's good. Now we have a working, equipable thingy. So <laughs> it's all working. One thing we can do before I leave you guys is in equip. I can remove this inventory equip thing in game. We don't need that. Okay, so character menu. Let's go to character. Um, if this inventory at position index get name equals empty. Then we'll add it in. All right, we'll do that for all of these. So that will just happen the first time, while you don't have any items, and then we shouldn't get. Ah, god damn it! So damn, I'm so damn sometimes. So damn. Get name. All right. So. Nope, that wasn't it. Illegal. What? What? Why? Good Lord have mercy. Good Lord have mercy. Good Lord have mercy. I don't even know. I don't even care. I'm just going to change these right now not equal empty then we'll tab those in ah, there we go okay then five character sheet empty 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 equip item let's say brutal murder and then continue wait no what what the hell oh wait I got brutal murder on there print inventory it did add empty 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 maybe you can't maybe you can't do that if this inventory that in is that get name it's not equals empty then we'll add items but whatever okay fine this video is too long I'll check this out and I'll come back to you guys in the next one because I'm pretty sure that it just is empty empty and then in here it's the same thing yep well whatever we'll see in the next video all right thanks for watching take care keep learning love you guys and have a great day have a great everything and i'll see you later all right bye bye